in yesterday's devotion, I made the statement that everybody will die. And that is true, but it's also not entirely true. Because there's actually going to be a generation who will not die. And you might be thinking, Yanu, what are you saying? Well, I'm talking about the generation who will experience the end of this age, who will experience the rapture of a church and the second coming of Jesus. Now, I'm not going to say today that we will be the generation who will experience the rapture. I think it's very possible, especially if we look at the signs today. Uh, but Jesus made it clear, nobody knows the day or the hour, so we can't make predictions. But whether we are going to be the last generation or not, it is our last days. So we need to be very intentional about it. But today I want to talk about the rapture of a church because that is also something that gives us hope. And whether we are going to experience the rapture or not in our day, it's still going to be relevant to us as believers because during the seven year tribulation on earth, we as believers will be in heaven and we are going to experience wonderful things there while it won't be so nice on earth. But the rapture of a church is described in 1 Thessalonians 4, from verse 15 to 18, where Paul says, We tell you this directly from the Lord. We who are still living when the Lord returns will not meet Him ahead of those who have died. For the Lord Himself will, will come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with a voice of an archangel, and with a trumpet call of God. First, the believers who have died will rise from their graves, then together with them, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. So we encourage each other with these words. So today I also want to encourage you with these words of the Apostle Paul. And he's just saying here when the rapture occurs, believers who have already died will be reunited with their bodies, their spirits and souls will already be with Jesus, but they will be reunited with their bodies, they will be uh, given glorified bodies, and we who are alive at that time will also go up to meet the Lord in the air. We will be changed in a moment, we will receive our glorified bodies, and we will be with Jesus. Now I believe that this will happen before the tribulation, and while the tribulation is going to um, happen on earth with the Antichrist and all hell will break loose on the earth, we will be with Jesus. And I believe during those seven years, we are going to be rewarded by Christ and wedded to Christ. You know, the Bible talks about the judgment seat of Christ, which is actually the reward seat of Christ. If you are going to appear at the judgment seat of Christ, it means you are a believer. It's not a judgment to determine, uh, determine who is saved and who's lost. It's a judgment for believers where they will receive rewards by Jesus. And it's going to be wonderful. And then we also read about the marriage supper of the Lamb. And I believe every believer will attend that during those seven years. While hell will break loose on earth, we will attend the marriage supper of a Lamb in heaven. Isn't that something to look forward to? as a believer. The Bible tells us in Revelation 19 verse 9, And the angel said to me, Write this, Blessed are those who are invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. And he added, These are true words that come from God. And if you are a born-again believer, you are invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. The marriage feast of the Lamb. It's going to be a wonderful time. And as a believer, you don't have to fear the things that are going to happen during the tribulation. Jesus said, you know, that his second coming will be like the days of Noah and also like the days of Lot. And when we look at the days of Noah and the days of Lot, we see that Noah didn't experience one drop of rain. He was in the ark, protected by God. And we also see that Lot was taken away before God, God judged Sodom and Gomorrah. So I believe as believers we will be taken away, we won't be here, and we will have a wonderful time with Jesus. And that is something to look forward to. Whether we are going to be the generation who gets raptured or not, we are going to experience the reward seat of Christ and the marriage supper of the Lamb. Tomorrow we're going to talk about what will happen after those seven years 
and it just gets better and better. Talk about the believer's hope. Remember, you are highly favored and deeply loved.